Hello and welcome to a special Cracking the Cryptic where today by request we're going to have a look at trying to solve the listener crossword. Now this is about the hardest typically published crossword in papers in the UK. Um, it appears in the Saturday edition of the Times and as you'll see the grid isn't like a blocked broadsheet cryptic with white and black squares it's all white with bars the clues however are quite likely to be standard cryptic although they may have a gimmick that we'll have explained to us and there's almost well it's absolutely certain to be a theme of some sort either running through the puzzle or underlying it and um, I'll have a go at solving it with you and uh, or at least explaining to you how I'm solving it as I go along and we'll just see how much fun I hope can be had from this sort of puzzle. So we start. Well, I've got the uh, I've created the grid in in a program called Sympathy, so that I can enter this whilst we look at the clues beside it. Um, the Times currently prints this sort of puzzle as a, a PDF, so because so many of the grids you can't just enter straight into, but we'll hope that that's possible. I have also created a little Excel spreadsheet of clue numbers, just in case that helps as well. But I promise I haven't looked at the clues yet, or significantly the preamble, which we're about to have a look at now. So first of all, we see that the puzzle is called Hide and Seek by Charybdis, who is a setter I've certainly heard of before. I've actually met him as well. He's a very good setter. And we can expect something interesting from this, I would think. So the first thing to do, as always, is to read the preamble up here. It's quite long this time. Mark, that's me, Francis and Robert are playing hide and seek, seeking three hiders. So there's a kind of concept underlying the whole puzzle, clearly. A little bit of whimsy here. Solvers must first complete two proverbs used respectively by Mark, five words, and Francis, six words, that share the same beginning. The rest of Francis's is the title of a novel whose author is unclued. There's not much we could guess out there, although I have a feeling that when we get there, the two proverbs might be ones we've heard of. Five words and six words, and they begin with the same words, probably, to start with. I'd say somebody smart might be able to guess at those at the moment, but I don't actually like to guess at the finish too early in case it's right, because that can spoil it. Francis's proverb must be uncovered, in inverted commas, creating two empty cells to reveal the names and relationship of the first two hiders. Well, that's going to be something we'll have to do in the finish grid, I think. Solvers must then further amend Mark's proverb to show a title of Robert's, five words, after which the third hider must be completed and highlighted 10 cells along with his location, 16 contiguous cells. So there's a lot going on in the grid, which will explain, as I discovered when I was sketching it out, that why it's not symmetrical and disobeys some of the kind of standard unchecked letter guidelines. In 15 clues, ah, well, all of that that we've read so far, frankly, we can put it all off till we've got most of the way through filling the grid, I would think. And the key thing for us from the preamble is going to be the next two sentences, I would think, where we learn what's going to be happening with the clues to enable us to solve them. In 15 clues, a hidden letter must be restored before solving the letters spell out the seeker's surnames. So in just 15 of these clues, and it looks like there's about 45 of them in total, I would say, um, there's a letter missing that we need to put in to understand some part of the clue. And those letters in order will spell out the seeker's surname. So I'll probably be using my Excel list of clue numbers to put those letters into glad I did it now. All entries crossing the amended entries are real words in the final grid. Why should entries be amended? Oh, that was for the first part of the preamble. Fair enough. So all we have to do to begin this is ignore the rest of the preamble, 
solve the clues, bearing in mind that in 15 of them there's a letter missing. So not that different from a normal puzzle, but there is every chance that the clues will use some of the kind of more obscure entries in chambers, words marked archaic or obscure that wouldn't get into the normal broadsheet puzzle. And the wordplay will probably do the same and it may use abbreviations that are slightly, they'll be in chambers, but they might not be normal ones. So we'll see how we go anyway. Um, it then adds that chambers is the primary reference and listener solvers learn very early that they need a copy of chambers, otherwise uh, it gets very difficult. Having said that, I'll see how far we can get without my copy of Chambers to hand, just because it's quite good practice for me. So, let's start with one across. Pol Polish hat girl with little space, or it could be Polish hat girl with little space. Now, little space is normally E-M or E-N. They're kind of printer space lengths. Um... Polish hat or Polish hat ending in E-M or E-N. Not sure. Gal could be girl. Could be Galen. He was a doctor, but I can't seem to restore one letter to Polish hat to make that work. Let's have a look at one down. Mm, captured Roma 10 and 6 long ago. 10 and 6 could easily refer to the answers to 10 down and 6 down, but it's going to be very hard to make any progress on that until we say get those, but work out what it could be about. Let's have a look at 4 down. Short clue. City of God, 4 letters. No, that's not very clear to me. Acre is quite a useful 4 letter city, but I can't really see a justification. 13 across. Not like Oh man, reduced reserve fruity compound. F preserve. So if you put a P on the front of reserve, you could get preserve fruity compound, which does look like it could be a letter restored. Although actually not like oh man could have a letter restored to be not like woman. Hard to know exactly which letter needs to be restored to that, if any. Okay, this is pretty tough. Let's try and just scan around. 20 across. Shades of Senna. Transport cuts right and left. Transport. There are various transports that can be very short, like L, the elevated railway in Chicago, EL. And if that comes in between R and L, so it cuts them, we get REL. But is that shades of Senna or even shades of Sienna? Tans? Ah. Well, if we... Tans might be shades of Sienna because it's a kind of brown. So if we had transport, getting rid of the R to leave transport and getting rid of a word meaning left, which is port, as on a ship, we get tans. And I think we get a letter I for 20 across. So I'll put that in there. And at least we've got a start there. Now one down, uh, yeah, it was this one about Roma 10 and 6 long ago. Long ago could be erst. Mm, I don't know. Three down. Retained for some Londoners. It's useful if hilly in Scotland. It looks like melon, which is retained in the phrase some Londoners. But is that useful if hilly in Scotland? Is there a phrase hilly melon that means useful? It doesn't seem likely at all. Um, maybe useful if chilly. I don't know, I quite want, I want that to be melon, but I can't see exactly why. Now, I did also notice there are some entries not numbered in the grid that weren't specifically mentioned in the preamble, I don't think. So we'll, we'll come across those, like one beginning with the S of tans. Two down, shed on big side. No good having fret when in Montrose about it. Long clue, they're not very 
amenable to figuring out exactly what they're saying normally at first. Shed on big side, no good. So no good can be NG, and that could be having ha, 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 H -A -A -R is a sea fog, which is also what fret can mean. And ha could well be only a Scottish use, so that would be fret when in Montrose. So if you put that around NG, you get hanger, and that is a form of shed. I don't quite know what on big side means. Could that be missing a letter? to refer to an aeroplane? Not sure. Shed on air side or something. Hmm, at least that's going to be right, but I don't quite know if we've got a letter to restore there. One across again. Polish shine would fit. Hat girl sheen would fit. That girl could be she. And N is one of those printer's measures. So we've got T missing in one across. So we seem to be very quickly happening on the 15 clues which um, need a letter restored. Back to one down, captured. It does look like a possible past tense ending in T. Captured Roma 10 and 6 long ago. Hmm, it doesn't look like it would be Ro the sort of Roman 10, X and 6 VI. Three down there. Retained for some Londoners. Can't be melons, so that was wrong. Retained, so held, but for some Londoners that might be eld. So that gives, because they don't pronounce their H's traditionally. It's useful if hilly in Scotland. Oh, held in or held on. Held in could be retained. So eld in. Must be a Scottish word meaning useful if hilly. Could that be useful if chilly? Really, I might have to resort to chambers to find that one out in due course. I think we might be losing a letter there. 13 across with an AL in it again now. Not like O oh man or woman or Roman. Reduced reserve of fruity compound. I kind of want that to be a jam, but preserve of fruity compound. Um, not like Roman, maybe there's some, or well, male would be not like Roman, not like woman, with reduced reserve jam. Mm. I think we're getting malade, marmalade, can that be, no, I can't quite see it. 16 across, pit stop work, holding motoring group back. Wow, well, motoring group could be AA or RAC, and CA could easily appear in something. Indie car, indie cars, work though, industry, and I'm not quite sure. Or stop work can be die. So that holding a motor group back could be die care. Indicare? Indi mm, I can't quite see it. It's close. I think we're close to that. One down. What if it did begin S something I seven T? Captured Roma 10 6. I think we're still going to need to know what 6 is. That's annoying. So we may have stopped most of our progress up here. That's City of God, beginning with an N. City. Can't think of a city that's that short. Nola, New Orleans, Louisiana. Don't think so. 23 across, let's have a look at that one, and R, oh, it's not even clued, that's quite annoying. Right, so all those letters we've got don't seem to actually help us get into the top right, that's a shame, let's have a look at 8 down. Scones a small portion when served up and rank. Now, a small portion, scone could be a reference to the place in Scotland, the stone of scone, I suppose it's pronounced scone. So their small portion... Hate, there's a word hate. 
H-A-I-T or H-A-E-T when served up a bit here, I can't quite see that. Nine down, fringe benefits when pressure's off. So perks are fringe benefits. When you take the pressure off, they're irks. And they do rank low in the RAF, because I think irk is a term for an aircraftsman in the RAF. <sighs> Useful recherche knowledge there. 17 across, mark item with chipped edges. So if you take the edges off the phrase mark item, you're left with archite. As from an old boat, and I think that must be an old adjective relating to the ark. So that works. 10 down, ways of moving guns around Italy. Well, gates are ways of moving. They're the kind of the walk that you have. And gats is an old word for guns. I is Italy. That works okay. And that was 10. Is that relevant to Roma and one down? Don't think so. Let's have a look at 12 down. Threads, end of rope, days before festival. Uh, days before festival are eves, Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. Ends of rope, could that be P and E, two ends of rope? Oh no, R and E are the ends of rope and reeves is some sort of word to do with um, the ropes on old boats so they're kind of that may mean to thread seven across e.g magritte with many fleeing belgium's neighbor i don't follow suit belgium's neighbors are surely france the netherlands and luxembourg I don't know. I don't follow suit. So a revoker at bridge? What What else could that be? And E.G. Magritte with many fleeing. Belgium's neighbour. So René is Magritte. He is an example. René. And Magritte is an example of a René. And so many leaving the word Germany, which is, of course, one of Belgium's neighbours. And that gives us René Jack doesn't follow suit. I don't think there's any missing letters there. Eight down. Now, schoons a small portion when served up and rank. Well, etat is the French for state and also in the English dictionary for a rank and tate must be a Scottish word for a small portion. Eleven down. Whistler say etches the teal's pinions. That's got some very strange words in it, but Pinioned by the phrase etches the teal is the American spelling of an art lover, an esthete. You put in the A at the beginning to make the English spelling. And Whistler say must be there because Whistler as an American artist is assumed to be an esthete with that spelling. That's a pretty bizarre clue, but at least we got there. Nice to have the help in the grid. 14 across, spin stone and wipe out. Well, we can clearly put erase at the end of that. Spin stone. So we turn round a word for stone. Tor, water A's. That might be an enzyme. Enzymes, you can pretty much add A's onto the end of anything. And tor is a, a marble. Not certain that that's the beginning of that word, but we'll assume it. Six down. Ski resort rides around top of mountain. So putting an M in something spins. can be rides or turns. Do I have to know a ski resort with an M in it? Do I know one? Zermatt? Not one that fits. Aspen rides. No. Oh, twits. I mean, that could be ride in the sense of make fun of. But around an M, that's not going to work. Hmm. 15 down. Hardy cross coarse grass on Avon's banks. Well, Avon's banks are the letters A-N. So if we start with A-N, and can we add a coarse grass onto that to make a word meaning hardy? Antique is not really right. And... Um, Hardy, or hardly perhaps, if there was a letter missing. 
No, I can't see it. Ah, oh, 22 across. We've got SE at the end. Salad leaves bishops taken from a plastic saucer. So it could mean salad leaves, or it could mean salad, and or something meaning salad could leave bishops, but it's a bit odd for that to be a possessive. But if bishop, which can be B or R R, is taken from a plastic saucer. I think I may not know enough salad plants there. It could well go in, but uh, I'm not sure what that is. 24 across. We may believe theists would fit. Lord is first of two robbers. Well, heists looks good there. So the first of two is T. We may believe Lord. I suppose that could be a definition of theists. It's a strange one. Not quite sure. And heist would need to be to mean a robber. I only know it meaning a robbery. We can't just restore a Y to that to make it work. Not sure. I may be missing something there, but I'm sure the answer is theists. 19 down. It'll be annoying if we can't work out what letters we need for the message because that won't help. We might have to go through the clues in some more detail later. Part for refrigerator set up in desert areas. Ah, well, if we return the phrase desert areas, no, the E's in the wrong place. Retro, mm, that's strange. Okay. Ah, no, I'm looking at it the wrong way around. Right, it's part of part, one of the parts to make up refrigerator. Set up, so reversed. And here's another very handy word to know. The plural of erg, meaning a bit of shifting sand in the desert, is apparently areg. Extraordinary, but there we go. Helpful to know that. 18 across. Honey's back. Well, honey's always mel, so that back is lem, and lemata would fit, and that means premises at the end of the clue. And the rest, mata, is made by stick, leaving stigma. That's Lemata, and that M has some... I'm thinking water rays might have been wrong now, but let's have a look at 15 down anyway, not trusting the A at the beginning. Hardy could be Spartan, and Spart, I think, is a type of grass, so we'll go with Spartan there. And that's going to make 14 pound esterase, which probably sounds more like a, an enzyme, although, again, it's A, it's just added on the back of another word. Spin stone... Stone can be ST, but... Oh, Spain. Spain can be the letter E, as on the back of the car. So 14 across is missing an A, and it raises. Yeah, that works. Okay, so put the A in there. And we've got the top right down a... Oh, frise. Frise can be some part of salad. Salad leaves, even. Bishop taken from a frisbee. That's quite neat. Okay, six down now with an E correctly in the second place. And this was the ski resort. Rides around the top of a mountain. I think I'm being pretty dumb here. There must be a famous ski resort that ends in an S, has rides around M and fits that. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just not a good enough skier. Now, 16 across ends in a P. That Stop work. I did want that to be die, but it's quite an odd shaped word now. Pit under lap is that something in motor racing? Could be stop work. I can't see the motoring group in there. Did like it being oh, endocarp that would have an end to be stop, work to be op. You put RAC back in the op part and you get endocarp, which is part of a fruit. And pit is part of a fruit as well, so that's probably the correct definition. I wouldn't have been certain about that. Now, four down. City of God, Nice, is a four letter city. And good would be missing an O and would also define nice. So we'll put an O in for four down. 
move this forward on the message a little. Let's have a look at five down with AM in the middle. Crustacean, scampi, that would fit. Caught by some current amp, that's electric current, not sea current, in South Island SI. Excellent. 13 across, something AL, something IC. Not like woman, male, reduced reserve, ice, and malaic. Must be related to some sort of compound, fruity or otherwise. So one down. Captured Roma 10 and 6, which are Gates and the ski resort long ago. So it could mean 6, but I wanted that to end in X. Is, is Zermatt still possible with only one T? No, I don't think so. No, I can't see that. I mean, I feel this must be smelt, but I can't see how that means captured. I don't know what Roma's doing. I really can't see any part of this. 10 and 6, long ago. Well, I have to come back to that maybe with 6 solved. It'll help. I can't see what 6 is either. 23 across wasn't clued. So the only further words we've got any help with are this 28 across and 25 down. And 28 across isn't clued either. So we go to 25 down with it. S to start. Girls worked with it as a skin cleanser. Well, an anagram of girls and it, if you work them together. Strigil, which I happen to know from a classical education, is a scraper of the skin in Roman hot baths. So, 34 across. Plant mostly attached to a wall facing west. Brad is attached to a wall. Well, it's a nail. That's not good enough with a W. No, I don't, I don't see that. Let's have a look at 41. Jumbo spinning top or cone. <sighs> Jumbo spinning top or cone. It's a nice surface. I can't see the answer. Now, 37 across. Red and orange when moving again looks like an anagram of red and orange, although that would be a brilliant bit of anagramming. Stops are on this. Danger. How oh, could be and orange? No, it couldn't. Organ. A reed organ. Look at that. Reed organ is an anagram of red and orange. That's very neat. Very nice spot by the set. And there are stops on an organ, that's what that means. 38 down. May from Paris. Questioning Descartes' conclusion. Well, Descartes' conclusion was I am from Cogito Ergo Sum. So questioning that would be Ami, A-M-I. Now that's not May from Paris. But I suppose it's... Could this really be using Bay, the new word for a boyfriend? Might be. I mean, I say new. I'm sure to some people that's old, but to me it's fairly new. What it would give us is a B at the very end of the message, which is a little unlikely. I suppose it could be man from Paris. It might be some. A Mac? Is that a friend? <sighs> Don't know. Put in a B, but let's be wary. It could be a C or an N, or possibly something I haven't thought of. Back to the jumbo spinning top or cone. No, I can't see that. Just looking at 28 across, that letter pattern is certainly making me think about gangster. That would fit quite neatly in there. Now, we haven't got any clue, but given that we know that the grid will end up with real words, even after changes, but it's likely to start with real words even before changes. That could well be one. Ah, oh, no, hang on. Right, 29 down, Chinese, worker getting the chop. So that's a hand getting its end chopped off, and that gives us Han, one type of Chinese person. So, 28 across now, it's going to be laughter or daughter, of course, and that's a more likely fit. So 28 down, we'll begin with L or D. We can be very confident. Dutch, D or D-U. Dutch officers dropping off. So that's Dicers, D for Dutch, officers dropping OFF. 
they risk much to make a, gi a gin. Well, they dicers risk much to make a gain in the sense of gambling. So 28 down has dropped an A. Well, message still continues to come together. I really don't think there's any point at this stage looking at it to try and make sense of it. We just don't have enough and we don't know where the gaps are. 33 down. Cycling not to be taken seriously. That's exclamations of contempt. Now, cycling normally means treating a word in these contexts, normally means treating a word so that the end of it goes at the beginning in some form. Um, poos would be exclamations of contempt. But I can't see how that would mean cycling. But it probably does end in an S. So the jumbo splitting top or cone. A cone is a type of solid. So cone question mark could mean solid. Jumbo can be OS for outsize. And that spinning gives so. And then the lid is the top. So we've done that one. For 34 across. Plant mostly attached to a wall facing west. Or plant mostly. Plant mostly attached to A. Or oh, I don't know, a wall facing west. I suppose it could be some sort of Muslim wall facing away from Mecca or something. 35 down. Brought up material extracted from ground. A mind can be extracted from ground and that's been brought upwards. So the plant looks like arum. So mostly attached to a wall, mural, facing west. So the word is turned round so that it's running from east to west. Whew. 33 down does still look like poos or it could be other words similarly formed. 32 down, a party in hell stuns American. Well, a party can be a do and hell can be dis. So didos could be an American word for something. I really thought it was stuns. I still need to look that up again. Um, hmm, strange. So, not very helpful. I'm not certain it's didos, but it does give us an ending of action or something in that long one across after 35. Let's have a look at 40. Switches on, I'm hesitant, stopping machines with switched polarity. So I'm hesitant can be er uh, or um. Switches on can be, that's going to be the definition. And machines, some sort of engines. Yes, engines, you put er uh in it, you get energines, and you switch the pole, one of, of the second N in that, and it becomes energizes, switches from north to south. That's a bit complicated. Lucky to get that in some way. Came up with the right def the right meaning, the right synonym rather for machines. Now 31 down, chauffeur's sacrifice, going without credit provided R. Well if you take credit C R and provided if out of sacrifice, you get S A I C E. Now, I'm aware that SIC and SYC can be some sort of Indian chauffeur, so I assume that's a further spelling of it that I didn't know. 39. Look into all about still archaic rural views. I think that the definition will be rural views. And if you look into all about, I can't see quite what that will be. Still, no, I think we need another couple of parts of that. 36 across, a comic monster, or on reflection, a venomous one. Four, and it's two words, so it's quite unusual for a four-letter four phrase to be two words, although I see there's another one at 30 across. But... Um, with an I there, something like on it or in it, but I can't see a definition of that sort at either end of the clue. So on reflection will mean going backwards. 
So there's some sort of comic monster. A monster in a comic? I suppose um, maybe I don't know my Marvel comics enough. 30 across. Provocative cry. Accompanying thrust in jazzy dance. Not Latin. Well, salsa is a jazzy dance. You take the L for Latin out of that and you get salsa. Which I think will be some sort of fencing shout. Surprise. There's quite a few weird words that I would normally know because they're so short, but I don't. I think that is a word. I, I feel confident about that. Um, let's have another look at the comic monster. Mm -hmm. 23 down. We have a clue for that at least. Tring returned letter with a will. Testate can mean with a will, and that will fit. Um, so, test. No, test. Oh yeah, the returned letter is eater returned, so that gives us the eight. So it is test eight. But what is how is tring trying would be test the trying. So one in there. Okay, another missed letter. Now that's looking a lot like transaction. This is looking a bit like stranger coming down. Well, that make that trap. Can't see. If it's stranger, oops, this would be a something ig. Thirty six across a. Fair enough. Comic monster. Big. Oh, a gila would be a venomous one on reflection. So. Ali G. <laughs> Sasha Baron Cohen's alter ego is a kind of comical, he's a monstrous creation, so he's a monster. That's very clever. Or oh, very vicious. Very modern. 26 down. Something A, something L, something. Legumes left in dark, shortly coming up. So left in some word for dark, but cut off at the end, and going upwards. Legumes. Mm, difficult vegetables. Could it be kales? Don't know. Probably ends in an S, though. So, oh, we don't want an R in the middle, don't we? So, hmm, that wouldn't really work very well for the word for dark fitting around it. Hmm. It might not be transaction going across, but it would fit so well with danger, uh, with stranger. I mean, <laughs> twenty-seven down, probably with an A in the middle, certainly with an R at fourth. Mum, one concerned with area of taxation. So probably the wordplay parts are mum and one, and I would guess the whole definition is concerned with area of taxation. And as an accountant, I ought to be better at thinking of that, but tricky. Um, 21 now, long one. It would fill a lot of vacant space. Ends in a G. The dame with a mitt on 1,000 is maybe packing heat. Now, I think the $1,000 could be G, which is short for a grand. So the dame, Edna? No, with his... his so packing heat must mean being going around armed. So the dame with a mitt on, and then G. <sighs> no, not seeing that, but it does almost certainly give us an N here just before the end. So thirty-six across scenery would uh, thirty-nine across scenery would fit rural views at least. Scenery might even be an archaic word for rural views. Look into all about. Scry? Yes, okay, there we go. So scry is an old word for look into. So that's, or maybe not an old word if it's not qualified as such. So scry, and it's written about E-N-E, -E, which is a poetic version of even, which means still. That's requires a certain amount of crossword ease as well. So it looks like this down unclued is going to be T-E-Y. I'm very tempted to fill in transaction here, but 
maybe it wouldn't actually help. Let's have another look at 26 down. The legumes. Left in dark shortly coming up. Peas? Mm, I just can't see that. I'm running out of clues to try now, but that means we've filled most of the grid. I'm still very reluctant to start working on the further instructions now with huge bits, of, well, not huge, but significant bits of the grid still to complete. 33 down. Cycling not to be taken seriously. So, spoof could be not to be taken seriously, and expressions of contempt, I suppose, could be poofs. And that would at least give us a two-word phrase of time, or of, yeah, probably of time. So something daughter of time, stranger transaction, stranger transaction, daughter of time, trans, mm, T there, might not be stranger. If we tried 26 across, no, no help. We're, despite almost full grid, we're reduced to trying one with no help. Spurs with a taut defence initially, accompanied by combative character. Defence. Spurs with a taunt, so goads, perhaps, something like that. Goads, maybe. Initially accompanied, no, defence initially, accompanied by combative character. Dares could be Spurs with a taunt. Ares is a combative character from mythologies. He's a god of war. D is defense initially. So the clue is missing an N. Is this stands? No, we've got the acrosses. 26 across. Hmm. How many? How many letters have we definitely identified? T A I N taking oh god not many O Y A can't be a B taking oh, not many only about eight letters identified out of fifteen now I think that means that in a lot of cases we just haven't or I just haven't identified what the missing what the restored letter is. So back to one down then. Captured Roma ten and six long ago. Ten is gates. Six. Oh, we don't know six. Maybe we'll just try that first. Sorry. Six down again. It's the ski resort, isn't it? Ski resort rides. I can't think of a word. But Dermis, I suppose. It's odd. I mean, an anagram of rides around resort skin. There we go. The letter, the clue is missing an N. That makes ski into skin. You resort, not resort, the word rides, and you get deris. Around the top of a mountain is the N. So six down needs an N, and that at least gets us one more of our missing letters. Dermis answered. Now back to then one down. Captured Roma ten and six long ago. What am I missing here? It's just got to be smell. I suppose if you smell something, you capture the, the you can catch a smell of something. But why would that be Roma ten and six long ago? I just don't know. Gates and Dermis doesn't mean anything, does it? Long ago. I feel it's got to be smelt. I haven't a clue why. And given that I think that word down has to be stranger, this has to be something like Tritus? I don't know. Let's try this one down again. 21 down. The day with a mitt on. $1,000 is maybe packing heat. So could it be the? Could be the. Dame could be D. Or the dame could be she. Although we've had that before, so it's not very likely. Shedding? Shearing? 
with a he's shooting. I can't I just don't know enough gangster words. Twenty seven down. Mum one concerned so share. Okay. Why? Mum so B mum is sh twenty seven. Sorry, um, is the sh. Then A is one and concerned with is re. So why is share an area of trans of taxation? Not sure. Can that, I can't seem to be missing a letter. There are tax rules about share transactions, but does that link to transaction? I don't know. Legumes. Oh, this could be dolls. D A H L S. Which would be shade going upwards shortly around the L. Oh, that's interesting. So it's not a transaction, it's van thank action or van faction. Or... So what are these across? Is Trutis daughter van faction of time than the action of time right now I am going to go to the message still got 21 down and one down to solve everything else I know what the answer is I don't think I know what all the letters are so let's let's put in some dashes where we know that we didn't need another letter well we'll be just work on this for a bit one across, we got a two. I don't think there was a letter missing in seven across. Thirteen across, there definitely was a letter. It was not like woman, so I failed to write that W in. Okay, that's an interesting start. Twa. Sixteen across, pit stop. That pit. I don't think pit was missing a letter. Um... So nothing there. Mark item that didn't seem to be the honey's back. No, there wasn't one there. So Twain. Now Mark Twain's often a source for useful quotes. Twenty-two down the salad leaves. Frise. No, that looked all right. Let's hope it's N next. Twenty-four. Didn't really get that. Don't understand what. We may believe Lord looks a poor definition to me, and robbers as heists would surprise it. But we probably want it to be blank, so we can start with Twain. 30 across, that looked all right, assuming that's what the definition was right. The plant, that was okay, there wasn't anything missing there. Nor in Ali G, my favourite clue so far. Nor in the red orange anagram, another beautiful clue. Um, scenery, don't think there was anything missing there. 40 energizes, no, that was all right. 41 solid, nothing. So we just get twain from the acrosses, and then we must have 10 downs that require a hidden letter. So one down is very likely candidate, but we don't know what's going on. Two down, oh yeah, shed on big was meant to mean. Hang or shed on big side. On big slide? Don't know why. Um, three down. Oh, yeah, we have a feeling there was an L, a C missing from Chile there as well. Not certain at all. Crustaceans, that was alright. Eight down. Scoons, a small portion. I think that was okay. The Irks were all right. Ten gates, that seemed okay. Eleven Whistler, yeah, no, I thought that was all right. Twelve down Reeves, that seemed all right as well. Kind of put a letter into threads. Fifteen was Hardy for Spartan, that was okay. Nineteen was the Desert Areas. Twenty-one we haven't done, so we don't know. Twenty-five. That was all right. Skin cleanser. Legumes left in the dark. Dolls, no, that was all right. Not getting many here. Mum, one. Oh, the area of taxation. Why is a share an area of taxation? I don't know. 
29 Chinese worker, that's fine, very straightforward. 31 the chauffeur, say snow, I think that was all right, as long as the answer's okay. Ah, stuns American, didos, maybe they could be stunts. I'm feeling it yeah, might be something you do in America. 33 cycling, not to be taken. No, that was all right. Poof, I imagine is an exclamation of contempt. That uh, was fine. The mind, denim one. Um, May from Paris, why would that be? Ami or much rather it ended in an E here or a Y maybe. Come on, look at the book question mark there because we don't know what that is. But what have we got? We've got Twain, Alchemy, Eight, Balcony. Could there have been a B missing somewhere here? I don't think the L's necessarily right in two down. Shed on big slide. I don't know why a hanger would be on a slide. Falcon. Twain, Falcon, Mate. Anyway, let's go back now to the preamble and see what that said. It would be lovely if we could just bust through it here. Mark, now that could be to do with Mark Twain again. Ah, maybe the names. Ah, oh, I don't know. Anyway, Mark Francis Robert playing hide and seek because he can three hiders. Solvers must first complete two problems. Okay, let's jump actually to, in 15 clues, a hidden letter must be restored before solving. The letters spell out the seeker's surnames. Now, why didn't I pay attention to that? So Mark Twain is one of the speaker. Francis Bacon is the next one. And Robert, five letters at the end. So Bacon and Robert... Wyatt? Why? Uh, Yates. What's Yates' his name? WB. That's not Robert. Could 27 be missing an E? No, I don't think so. But Wyatt. Kind of fancy that. Packing wheat would work for 21 down. No idea why it's spelting or something. I think we're looking at Francis Bacon, so two down, can that be an A missing in two down? Two down was shed on big side, big aside, shed on big hanger, shed on, I don't know, and one down, could that be missing a B, romba, captured, captured aroma is smelled, okay. Let's assume the shed is not B. So one of these last few crosses must have been missing a B and I didn't spot it. 30, jazzy dance, provocative cry. 34, plant. 36, a comic monster. Stops are on this. Stops bear on this? Don't think so. Ah, 39 across, look into all. Look into ball, because scrying is fortune telling. So, we've got Twain and Bacon, and possibly Robert Wyatt. I'm not even sure why 38 down could be Matt from Paris. It's annoying that I can't see a definition of friend in MAE with a misprint. Mac? That just wouldn't work. Okay, but anyway, back to the preamble now. We've got Twain, Mark Twain, Francis Bacon. Don't know who Robert Wyatt is. Solvers must first complete two proverbs used respectively by Mark. So Mark Twain used one and Francis Bacon used another. The rest of Francis's after the shared beginning is the title of a novel whose author is unclued. Uh, so the author's here somewhere. How is there an author fitting in here? Stranger Daughter. Trattis. Trattis. T. R. Lewis or something. Oh, it's 
satellite. Um, Francis's proverb must be uncovered, creating two empty cells to reveal the names and relationship. That looks like the daughter, doesn't it, of the first two hiders. So, theist's daughter, atheist's daughter. Dares, who dares wins. Dares and those middle rows look very interesting to me. After that, I think the first thing to do when looking for hidden messages in the grid is at least read the acrosses across. So Sheen's Dranega, Mali, Mali Sesteres, Endocarparkite, Gillemartas, Perfrisby, I don't know, Dare's Daughter, Finn the Stranger. No, I'm not seeing anything obvious there, annoyingly. Why is oh this T E Y is that a novelist? Is that a novelist T E Y? Don't know. What's this unused letter here? It's got to be significant at some point, but when? Hmm. Solvers must then further amend Mark's proverb to show a title of Roberts. So we need a title of a work by, by Robert, whoever he is, Wyatt or something. After which the third hider, A.S. Byatt? She's, that's a lady, that can't be Robert. No. After which the third hider must be completed and highlighted ten cells along with his location. So... I think we're going to have to go away and think about this for a little bit and maybe do a little bit of research on Mark Twain proverbs. Maybe considering strangers and daughters. Daughter of time. That doesn't really mean anything, does it? Maybe. I'm going to have to look up Chambers as well. So thanks for watching so far. It's been very interesting up to this point, I think. And um, looking forward to catching up with you in a minute and seeing the rest of it. Bye for now. So I did have a look at the internet for the theme and found it in one minute. Now, it might look suspicious or that I'm cheating about that because I've had to change location as well. Because while I was looking at the internet, I had to do some family stuff, had to drive 90 miles and I'm somewhere else now. And uh, nonetheless, it is true. I went to Google. I put in the phrase Mark Twain proverb daughter of time, focusing on th something I knew from two things I knew from the preamble and one that looked plausible from the grid. And the first hit mentions the daughter of time, and it's a novel by Josephine Tay. That's one of the um, unclued answers in the grid that I was suspecting and indeed there's an old proverb truth is the daughter of time and if we look on the Wikipedia page we see where is it here it says it's no wonder that truth is stranger than fiction fiction has to make sense by Mark Twain and just before that Francis Bacon although a little further above Francis Bacon's enhanced quote, truth is the daughter of time, not of authority. So if we go back to the preamble, we see that. And we look at the grid, we can start filling stuff in as well. So we can fill in this entry, truth is. And we can see that's actually followed by the letters of the in 24 across here. T-H-E, um, and then below that we have Daughter of Time. Now we also want to fill in Truth is Stranger Than Fiction. We've got Truth is already. We can make Stranger down there. Now the problem with Than Fiction, and part of the reason I was so focused on Transaction before, which was wrong, is that I got the answer to 27 down wrong as Share. 
And I didn't understand why a share was an area of taxation, and it's not. Shire is an area of taxation. I think shires were originally created as areas of different tax authorities and so on. So we can then fill in then fiction there. And we're moving along very nicely. We might be able to just finish 21 down now. Um, the dame with a mitt on 21 on 21. Dame with a mitt on a thousand dollars is maybe packing eat. Now I think that's sheafing for packing wheat, and that's the W we wanted. So it is like looking like Robert Wyatt. Can probably fill in sheafing. She is the dame. A fin is a mitt. And I think they're both different slang words for a hand. Um, and then G was the thousand dollars, and packing wheat together into a sheaf could be sheafing. Now, I still don't know what was going on in one down, although the fact that we decided that it was um, captured aroma means that the answer must be smelt. So we can fill that in. And we've got a grid where we've largely completed it, but now it's going to be all about the preamble. So let's get the preamble up again, maybe down there, so that we've got room to see it. Oh, that's no good. Let's put it down there. We've got room to see it. And Mark, Francis, and Robert are playing hide and seek, seeking three hiders. Solvers must complete the two proverbs used respectively by Mark. Truth is stranger than fiction. And Francis, six words. And his is truth is the daughter of time. Now, I think we're okay taking the in theists to help achieve that. Um, that share the same beginning. The rest of Francis is the daughter of time. It's the title of a novel whose author, and that's the Tay here, is unclued. Francis's proverb must be uncovered, so somehow the daughter of time must be uncovered, creating two empty cells to reveal the names and relationship of the first two hiders. Now, how is the daughter of time to be uncovered? What else did Francis Bacon say? about the daughter of time. He said, truth is the daughter of time, not of authority. And later on he said, truth is so hard to tell, it sometimes needs fiction to make it plausible. Hmm, not quite sure what those are telling me. Oops, sorry. Let's uh, back to the preamble now. Yeah. Hmm, so I don't know quite how uncovered in inverted commas truth is the daughter of time. Not sure. Solvers must then further amend Mark's proverb to show a total of Roberts. Ah, now. I did a little bit of searching on Robert Wyatt and it didn't take me very long to discover that there's a musician called Robert Wyatt who has written an album called Ruth is Stranger Than Richard. Now, I've not heard of either of those, but there we are. Um, and to create Ruth is Stranger Than Richard in the grid, we would change the beginning of truth to be blank, and that gives us the word estate down instead of testate, still a word. And if we change fiction to Richard, then we get all words coming down, I think. Shearing, Shire, Dicers, Hay, Dados, and Profs, and Had. So, very clever grid creation there. Um, and that's really, it really looks like we're on the right track here. So, Solvers must then further amend Mark's proverb to show a title of Roberts, after which the third hider must be completed and highlighted 10 cells, along with his location, 16 contiguous cells. So I think we're probably looking, given that we need to fill in the blank, 
I'm sure, we could well be looking at Richard III, because Richard III would now fit along this row. Um, and that would be 10 cells for Richard, that's good. Um, along with his location. So where is Richard III hiding? Um, Richard III, he was obviously the subject of the Shakespeare play. That seems quite a likely place. He probably got killed at Bosworth Field. Did he? I think he hid the princes in the tower. So the Tower of London feels like it would be about the right length. Can you see the Tower of London anywhere in the grid? Not obviously. Guessing a bit of what we need there. Um, and we don't know the first names and relationship of the first two hiders. Again, that could be the princes in the tower. I'm thinking that that's beginning to look a little plausible. But I don't quite know where I should be looking for them. I'm just reading the downs now in case they throw out anything. Nothing obvious. So there's something I certainly haven't understood yet. Let's see if the rest... I oh, know, that's kind of it. So... I need to uncover Francis's proverb, which was, truth is the daughter of time. Now, that may require me to read a bit more about Josephine Tay's book, but I'm hoping it doesn't. But how can I uncover truth is the daughter of time? I don't know. I don't quite know what that means. Maybe take the T off it means Ruth is the daughter of. Yeah, that would that would suggest the names and relationship. Ruth is the daughter of. Who is Ruth the daughter of in the Bible? Should we look at that? Can't remember. She uh, meets Naomi. Is she the daughter of Naomi? in the Bible. Book of Ruth. Do, do, do. Summary. Um, doesn't say who Ruth is the daughter of here. Yeah. Mother-in-law was Naomi. Elimelech? Mm, I don't know. It's a Moabite woman. No, I don't think that's what we're looking at. So... Hmm, what am I missing here? Ruth, Ruth is the daughter of Tim. If we take the two ends off that phrase, off that proverb, we're kind of uncovering the ends. Okay. Now that moving, removing that e off the end of, of time also gives us a word going down mind instead of mind. Fair enough. So the hiders are Ruth and Tim, and Ruth is the daughter of Tim. And then our third hider, I think, is Richard III, and his location we also have to find. 16 contiguous cells. Now, contiguous suggests that it's a bunch, but they might form a trail. Ooh, there. I was just thinking earlier about didn't Richard III get found in a car park recently, and suddenly now I'm spotting... Let's see if I can, uh, well, that group of cells, uh, that wasn't what I wanted to do, but this group of cells, there are nine of the cells in the second row, spells Leicester, 
and seven of the cells in the third row spells car park. So I think that's it. That's what we need to highlight. And just check the preamble again. Mark, Francis and Robert, who are Mark Twain, Francis Bacon and Robert Wyatt, are playing hide and seek, seeking three hiders. So we always have to complete the proverbs. Then we have to uncover the proverb, keep creating two empty cells. That gave us Ruth is the daughter of Tim. Then we had to further amend Mark's proverb to show a title of Robert's. That's Ruth is the daughter of Richard. And the third hider has to be completed and highlighted. Richard III, along with his location, Leicester Car Park. And we're done. That's the solution to the puzzle. So it took quite a while. We've taken an, an hour and a bit. And we've, as well as Ruth and Tim hiding, we've discovered Richard III in his Leicester car park. Um, quite an amusing and surprising finish to the puzzle. Well done, obviously, to Charybdis for hiding all of that in this fairly innocuous grid. Um, very nice information about... Um, different proverbs which explain what truth is and uh, an introduction and I might not bother to listen to the music of Robert Wyatt and his amusingly titled album Ruth is the Daughter of Richard um, thanks very much for watching I hope you enjoyed that I hope you solved it yourself before I did um, and if you didn't I hope this is helped you see that these puzzles, though complicated and slightly weird, are very approachable. It's been enjoyable. Thanks for watching and um, hope to see you again on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye now.